morning, Santa. Welcome to my channel. We're going to make a lamb burger today. So, uh, what we have right here is I have a, a one pound of lamb burger. I have also, I'm gonna combine with one pound of ground bison. And of course, the rest of the ingredients is I have a uh, Worcestershire sauce, I have salt to taste, I have the garlic, onion, black pepper, crushed pepper, and I have a uh, cumin, parsley, and I don't know, the sesame seeds is really have a distinct flavor and I want them with a little bit of naughtiness of um, the hamburgers. I'm going to put a uh, sesame seeds. So, um, honestly, this is one of my husband's favorite hamburger. Every time he is requesting me for hamburger, I always make a uh, lamb burger because this is a very delicious recipe and um, the flavor and the texture is so much I don't know in my uh, opinion I, I think it tastes so much better with just a re regular um, hamburger so this is gonna be the first time I'm going to mix a lamb burger and uh, bison so we will see what it tastes like but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be delicious okay so what we're gonna have to do is I'm just gonna go get me a um, big bowl so this is the big bowl that I have I will just mix everything up and uh, we'll make a hamburger patty. So there you go guys, so I already have my um, lamb and so is the bison meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my garlic and if you notice guys, I used the uh, fresh garlic and so is uh, the onion. What I did with the onion is I grated them, this will help moisten the meat okay so what i have right here is garlic onion and i'm gonna put in the pepper just like that red pepper oh this is already smells pretty good and then i have the cumin the parsley sesame seeds just like that okay and a Worcestershire sauce the Worcestershire actually this will help moisten the meat as well and will give a distinct flavor just like that and just a little bit of salt okay what I'm gonna do is just mix it up this is beautiful It smells so good the combination of onion the garlic the parsley and the cumin this is beautiful guys so what I have right here all we have to do is just mix it up And if you notice guys I didn't put any flour any egg or anything like that because um, I don't want to you know lose the taste and the flavor of lamb and so as the bison so what I want to do is just you know the natural flavors you know the aroma and things like that so I didn't put any eggs or flour so i think this is good and all we have to do is make a patty okay making a patty it's i mean it's up to your uh, preference but i would say you know the whole if you hold your palm of your hand just like this or maybe just a little a little bit just like that because we doesn't want them to make 
too thick and it will it will be because I want the crust on the sides of uh, our hamburger so it's just like that you know so and if you want them to make a little bigger um, you know like I said you can do that also so all we have to do is just put the hamburger just like that guys so this is already our um, hamburger patty so what we're going to do is start frying now there you go guys so we'll start frying now so I have a uh, non sticky pan right here so if you notice I didn't put too much oil because I don't want them to be oily okay because the meat has already like a 20% of fat so what I'm gonna do is just fry them just like that this is beautiful it smells pretty good So when you are making a hamburger guys, um, try not to flip them, you know, multiple times. All you have to do is just wait a couple of minutes on the other side and then flip them back to the other side for another couple of minutes, okay, because we doesn't want them to be dry and that's what makes it, I think the hamburger dries because if we keep flipping you know multiple times over and over again you know so we just want the meat frying like you know to have crust on the other side and then after a couple of minutes you know you can put it on the other side okay so there you go guys so after a couple of minutes i already flipped the two of them so what we're going to do is the rest of Oh beautiful, it smells so good, oh that's what we're looking for right there. Then we can fry them for a couple of minutes on the other side. 